Hi guys, my name is Michael Hutchins and I'm the founder and CEO of Medano. We've put this video together to provide you with a brief overview of the Tesla valuation model that we've shared on LinkedIn. Now before diving in, we should note that we're not automotive sector equity research analysts. So while it's a pretty cool model, the operational analysis within it is quite simple. And a big part of this is because it's largely based on Tesla's publicly available historical financial data and we haven't deep dived much but you're more than welcome to do so. Now we built this model very quickly using Medano's financial modeling libraries and the Medano Excel add-in, which you're more than welcome to download and try for yourself. It's pretty cool stuff. Now when you first open a model, you'll see that the overview sheet contains a hyperlink table of contents that provides access to all the sheets in the model. And each sheet in the model contains a hyperlink back to this table of contents in cell A1. This is much quicker than using sheet tabs to navigate around the model. If you look at the table of contents within the model, we've broken it into five sections with the core financial model analysis taking place within the third section. The second section contains a couple of investment banking style dashboards, while the fourth section contains a PDF friendly report, which you've probably also downloaded from my LinkedIn post. Now before diving into the model itself, it's worth noting that this model is a dynamic financial model, which means that with the Medano Excel add-in installed, a lot of common time-consuming tasks are automated, such as adding categories, rolling the model forward, and adding analysis such as dashboards and valuations. But for now, we'll just focus on using the model. The model is a rolling historical and forecast financial model, with Tesla's historical income statement and balance sheet data having been imported from their historical Form 10Qs. You can go a lot more detailed with this data, but we've kept it simple for the purposes of this model. Now if you go back to the table of contents, you'll see that the sheets following the historical financial statements contain the model for forecasts, starting with the revenues and expenses, and then working through working capital, assets, capital structure, taxation, financial statements, and finally, an equity valuation. You're welcome to deep dive into all of these areas, but we're focused mainly on the revenue and expenses forecast for Tesla, which you can see are based on the key line items within their Form 10Qs, starting with revenue and working down through cost of goods sold, operating expenditure, and other revenue and expenses. Now, if you're an equity research analyst, you go a lot deeper analyzing each of these revenue and expense forecasts, but for the purposes of this simple valuation model, we've really based the revenue and expense forecasts around the scenario manager in the model. Yep. To see this, you can click on the left arrow hyperlinks in column A of the revenue and expenses sheet, or go back to the table of contents and select the scenario manager sheet. When using Medano, it's very easy out as many scenarios as you want, but for the sake of this model we've included four Tesla scenarios along with a fifth spare one for you to populate with assumptions. Now as I've said, we're not automotive equity research analysts, so we've kept this very simple. The four scenarios basically differ based on how many cars Tesla will be selling per year by 2030, being either 10 million or 20 million, and whether this will be done at their current cost of goods sold margin, which is around 26%, or something closer to that of Toyota today, which is currently the world's largest car company and sells around 10 million cars each year at about a 19% margin. In all four cases, we've assumed that Tesla's average car price falls from their current price of around $50,000 to Toyota's average price of around $26,000. Now these assumptions are somewhat random and based on Elon Musk's sustainable energy revolution goal of selling 20 million cars per year by 2030. But you can enter whatever assumptions you like. Note that this model contains data tables, so we recommend that it be used with the Excel calculation method set to automatic except for data tables, and make sure that you press F9 after changing assumptions if you want to see the different scenario outputs in the dashboards and reports. Now there's a lot going on in this model, so if you're new to financial modeling, I'd recommend spending some time working through this model and getting a feel for how it all fits together. The key piece of analysis we've added to this model is the equity valuation analysis, which is a final sheet of the financial model section. This analysis performs a discounted cash flow valuation of the forecast post-tax equity cash flows of the business under each scenario. Now you can change any of these assumptions as you see fit, but to start the discussion, we've assumed a post-tax equity discount rate of 10% and used a cash flow perpetuity approach for the terminal value, again assuming a 10% discount rate and a perpetuity growth rate of 2.5%. Based on this, you can see that for our 20 million cars at a high margin scenario, we have an equity valuation of $707 billion, which compares to Tesla's current market capitalization of around $491 billion at the time of this recording. So there's obviously a lot you can learn from this model, especially if you're not a strong financial modeler, but if you want to have some fun doing your own valuation of Tesla, I'd recommend going to the scenario manager and entering what you think are reasonable assumptions regarding Tesla's car sales growth and margins, and then seeing how these impact the valuation. If you want to see the forecast flowing from your scenario assumptions, activate the revenue and expenses sheet and scroll across to see total car sales, prices and costs across the forecast periods. In this case, you can see that we're forecasting 20 million cars sold during 2030 with an ending average price of $26,000 and a cost of goods sold margin of 26%. But this could differ wildly based on your view of the future, so jump in and put together your own scenario. Now we'll try to keep this video short because we could talk for hours about Tesla and this financial model, but we hope you enjoy using the model and perhaps learn something from it. And don't forget to jump back into LinkedIn once you've created your scenario and join our never-ending Tesla valuation debate. If you want to learn more about financial modeling and how Madano automates it, just go to madano.com and start a free trial. There's thousands of templates, heaps of videos, and a library of learning resources you can use. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.